Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I will be showing you how to make print on demand products using Printful and Canva. If you want to skip ahead to any part in the video, I will have timestamps in the description. So the first thing you want to do when you're creating your print on demand products is find what company you're going to use. Two of the more popular print on demand companies are Printful and Printify. In this video, I'm going to use Printful. I do plan on making a video of different print on demand companies. If that's a video you'd be interested in seeing, let me know in the comments. So when you find the company or manufacturer you're going to use for your products, a good tip would be to find the products that you're trying to create and find the dimensions of those products and also what size the file needs to be. With some of the print on demand companies, they have a design maker that you can create the product directly on their website that includes graphic, text, and more. Other print on demand companies, they have a less intuitive feature of designing. So you would have to bring a completed graphic to their website. With Printful, you can design directly in Printful. And I'll show you what that looks like once I get on Printful. And the print on demand product that I'll be creating is a notepad. And if you wanna get your hands on this notepad as well, check the description, I'll leave a link. And in case you didn't know, Canva prints products as well. And so here are some of the products that Canva prints and you can search for a specific product in the search bar. So Printful offers three different sizes of notepads, five and a half inches by six inches, four and a quarter inches by nine inches, that one's magnetic, and 11 inches by eight and a half inches. So the technique that they use is digital printing. And so the size that I'm going to do is the four and a quarter by nine, and the cost for that will be $9.25 plus the shipping, which starts at $6.29 and it'll take between 9 and 11 days. So I'm going to click here where it says File Guidelines. So this table here gives you the sizes as well as the print file size. So since I'm doing the 4 and a quarter by 9 inches, the print file size is 4 and a half inches by 9 and a quarter inches. And you can also download the print file template. Underneath that table, it gives you must follow guidelines. And it also gives you tips for best results. So since I already have an account in Printful, when I click start new order, it'll look a little bit different if you don't have an account. So I'm just going to hit start new order. So when you click on start new order, you wanna make sure you click on personal orders if you're just ordering for yourself. So for this tutorial, I'm going to click personal orders. I do intend to add it to the KO Design Etsy store and then you would purchase it there and then Printful, they would produce it and send it to you. And I'm just going to pick basic order and I'm going to click on create your order. So here's the design maker in Printful. So if we go all the way to the left side toolbar, it has these different icons. So the first one here is the product. So it shows you what product you're designing and you can click on the pricing and file guidelines, select the orientation. I'm going to pick vertical. Again, over in the left toolbar, under product, you can click uploads and you can click upload here to upload a file. Underneath uploads, you can click on text to add text to your product. Underneath text, there's saved designs. So if you've saved any designs, they would be under here. Underneath that would be clip art. So here are some of the graphics that Printful offers. You can either search in the toolbar or click the dropdown. Underneath clip art, there's quick designs. So these are designs that are already laid out for you and you can decide to add them to your product. Underneath quick designs is premium. These are premium graphics that you can use and you would have to pay for. Underneath premium is fill. So it looks like you may be able to fill in the background with a certain color. So you can definitely design it in Printful's Design Maker. It does give you options to upload your own graphics, add text. They also provide clip art and quick designs. But what I'm going to do is head over to Canva and design the file and save that file and then upload it into Printful. So after you find out where you're going to have your product made, 
you may need some graphics. And so there's a few places again that you can get graphics, Etsy, Creative Market, Creative Fabrica. Also, like in this example on Printful, they give you some clip art that you're available to use as well. If you head to the description box, I will leave a couple places where you can get graphics from. So now we're going to head over to Canva. So now what I'm going to do is create a document that's sized for those notepads that we're going to make on Printful. Over in the left side panel, if you click on create, on the left, I'm going to click custom size. I'm going to change the units to inches. And since we're doing the vertical notepad, I'm going to make the width four and a half. And I'm going to make the height nine and a quarter. And once you've entered in your dimensions, click create new design. So this notepad is going to be for me. I'm going to have it on my desk because I like to write down every day what I'm going to be doing. And I find like a notepad is better than having several different post-its. So I decided to show you how I was creating my notepad. So basically what I think I'm going to do is put flowers on it, either like in the corners or as like a border and probably a rectangle with some lines. I don't think I'm going to put any text on it. But for me, I think I'm going to upload some graphics that I got off of Etsy. And I like these graphics from this particular Etsy seller because she includes commercial use for all of her graphics. And so if you want to check out her shop, I will have it linked in the description. But to add those graphics, I'm going to head to the left side panel and click on uploads. But to add more files, you would just click on upload files. And then you would just find the file you want to upload and click open. Now I'm going to grab all of the graphics I intend to use on this notepad. So I decided to put all my graphics on the left hand side and I can either decide to leave it like this, add my lines and then upload it to Printful. But what I'm going to do is duplicate this page and then make another alternate design and see which one I prefer. So to duplicate it, head above the page and click on the duplicate page icon. And so doing that allows me to work on some other ideas I may have and then I can decide which one I prefer. And something that I'm going to do to these graphics on this page is I'm going to select them all and then I'm going to group them. So that way when I copy and paste it to the other side, it'll be easier than individual images. So once I have them all highlighted, right above all of the highlighted elements, you can click on group. If this doesn't appear, you can always right click on the selected items and click on group. So now this moves as a single unit. So here's that second page with flowers all the way around. So I'm probably going to go with this one. And the next thing I'm going to do is hit R on my keyboard to bring up a rectangle. And I'm going to lengthen it 
And basically what it's going to do is sit on top of the flowers to kind of block some of them out because on top of this rectangle, I'm going to put some lines so that I can write on it. And I'm going to make sure that it's in the center of my document. So I think I'm going to change this rectangle to white and then I'm going to make the background like a light color. So with this rectangle selected, head up to the upper toolbar and click on the color picker. And I may also put a border around this rectangle. But before I do that, I'm going to change the color of the background. I had to move this rectangle out of the way so I'm able to access the background. So with my rectangle out of the way, I'm just going to click on the background. And then in the upper toolbar, I'm going to click on where it says background color. And I'm going to click add a new color in the left side panel. And you can obviously play around with the colors and see what you like the best. So I made the color a little bit lighter. So now I'm going to put my white rectangle back in the center. So now I'm going to see what a border would look like on my rectangle. So I'm going to select my rectangle. And then the upper toolbar, click on border style. And you can decide to put whatever type of border you want. I'm going to try the solid. And I don't want it this thick, so I'm going to decrease the border weight. And I'm also going to change the color of the border. So with the rectangle selected, head up to border color. And here in the color panel, Canva shows you the photo colors from images that you've used in the design. So if I click on see all, and here are all of those graphics that I uploaded, and it gives me a few different colors out of those. So that way you can decide to use the same color as the graphics that you put in. So now I'm going to duplicate this page one more time and now I'm going to add lines to one of those pages. And since I'm going to be adding lots of lines on this page, I'm going to select everything that I have on my page now and I'm going to lock it. So that way none of it moves while I'm trying to add in my lines. So just select everything on your page, right click and click on lock. So now nothing moves. So to add lines onto this page, I'm going to hit L on my keyboard. And the first thing I like to do when I'm making a set of lines on a page is get your one line how you want it. So the thickness of it, the color, if you're choosing dotted or solid. And then after you have that, then you can make duplicate copies of that line. So with your line selected, Head to the upper toolbar. I'm going to change the line color. And I think I may change it to the same color as the border on this rectangle. I'm also going to reduce the thickness of the line. So click on line style. And I made it one. So now I just moved my line slightly down a little bit. And now it's time to make duplicate copies. So with my line selected, I'm going to hit control D on my keyboard to duplicate. Take that duplicate line and move it underneath the first line wherever you want it to go. Once you have that how you want it, and with that second line still selected, hit Ctrl D. And then you'll just keep doing that and then it'll give you all of your lines right underneath each other. So I decided I'm going to do the notepad with the lines. So if you head to the upper right hand corner and click on share and click on download. And you want to make sure you remember what file type the manufacturer or company requests for you to upload. So Printful said you can upload PNGs and JPEGs. So since PNG was selected, I'm just going to keep it at PNG. And so under select pages, I'm going to click on the option that says current page and then I'll click done. After I do that, I'll click download. So now we're going to head back to Printful. And in the left side toolbar, we're going to head to uploads. So I'm going to click on the button that says upload. 
So I'm going to find my image and click open. So once you upload something to your file library, you just have to scroll down. And since this is the image I want to apply to these notepads, I'm going to click on apply. So when I uploaded this, it says image resolution too low. To ensure better print quality, make this image smaller or upload one with at least 150 dpi. But when I scroll underneath, it says the print quality is okay and it has a dpi of 216. So it says the print quality is okay. I'm going to hit continue and see what it looks like once I order it. So I'm going to order this notepad and then I'll make another video once it arrives and do like a quick review and show you how it turned out. But this concludes the video on how to create print on demand products using Printful and Canva. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Remember to check the description box for products that may have been mentioned as well as places where you can get graphics. And as always, thanks for watching.